What an absolutely incredible and historic turnout. Over a quarter of a million people have marched today on a weekday against Donald Trump. But what's absolutely critical is that we're not just simply marching against him. Some of the opposition is about how vulgar he is, about his manners, about how, how uncouth he is. But what this is really about is the bigotry, the racism, the misogyny that he represents and he personifies. Ever since the financial crash, we've seen an attempt by extremists, by elite politicians, to scapegoat migrants and Muslims and refugees for all the injustices caused by the powerful. Donald Trump is simply the most striking example of that. And that's what we're fighting against. We're also fighting against the attempt by our weak, shambolic, embarrassing government, who tried sucking up to him and then get humiliated, to turn us into the puppet state of Donald Trump. Trump's America. We did that with George W. Bush and people died. A lot of people died. Hundreds of thousands of people died. We're also here because of climate change. The world's biggest polluter, the United States, under Donald Trump, ripping up the Paris uh, climate change accords. That in itself, again, is an existential threat to us all. Whether it be the threat of war with Iran, for example. So many reasons that we're here, but this is a fight back. We've got to go now into our communities, mobilise against all forms of racism, bigotry, misogyny, and to fight to build a different sort of society that deals with the injustices that the racists and the fascists feed from. A society run not in the interest of these vested interests, like plutocrats like Donald Trump, but run in the interest of the majority. And that's what this is all about.